I'm going to show you guys a few different versions of a fairy that I do today, so stay tuned and check it out. I'm starting with a beige colored face paint to create a semicircle for the face of our fairy. Then I'm going to do two teardrops to create the arm and then a flick upward to create the palm of our fairy. We want the palm to look like it's facing up so that our fairy is blowing different things across the face like flowers and rainbows and all that magical stuff. Now for the skirt, you want to create kind of a triangular shape and I'm using a petal brush and starting at the bottom, I'm just kind of guesstimating how big I want her dress to be and I'm just placing petals down and I'm going to layer those up to create the skirt of my fairy. And this is a really, really simple, easy way to do a quick fairy. If you have time to let the layers dry in between, you certainly can. You're gonna get a more defined look that way, but at a festival I rarely do, so I just let them blend together and create kind of a A-frame dress for my fairy, and I'll go over some if I want them more defined. Now for the hair, I like to think of fairies as being kind of pixie-like and whimsical, so I usually do a fun color, pink, purple, yellow, something like that, and just do flicks and make kind of spiky, fun hair. Of course, you can change up this design so many ways and make it your own. Do long flowing hair if you want, or you can do more of a yellow bun and a green skirt so it looks more like a Tinkerbell, um, but this is just the basis of how I do this, so I know you guys can make this your own. Now for the wings, I'm just using a pearl white and an angle brush and drawing these on, and when I was doing this on the side of my face, I thought the wings didn't look quite right, but it wasn't until I saw it on camera that I realized I put them a little too far away from the body. I'm going to blame this on painting on the side of my face and not being able to see well. It's really hard to get perspective right when you're doing that, but I still felt like it was good enough for you guys to get an idea of how I do my fairy. And this was a request from a viewer, so I wanted to do this. Um, so draw on your wings, just make them a little tighter to the body and just a better shape than mine. Mine didn't turn out that great, but I still think um, it kind of works. So. So go ahead and use a pearl white so it's nice and um, frosty. And then of course, cover them in glitter because they're supposed to be magical. And to give our fairy some definition, I'm just gonna take a liner brush with some black and define her face and her arms and wherever I think she needs a little bit of outline. Just do this with a light hand because you don't want to overwhelm this design because she's tiny and it should be very, very delicate. I'm also going to use some dark blue and just outline the petals to define her dress. And if you want to add some definition to the wings, use a bright white to add some lines and just create more of a butterfly shape for the outside tips of the wings. And that way it won't get too harsh and they'll still look nice and whimsical. So that's the fairy part. And now we are going to create a design going across our face. Now I'm gonna start with pink here and pat that over my eye and do a flower design. Now the reason I do this, if you guys have seen any of the Tinkerbell movies, each fairy has a job. So that's what my daughter thinks fairies do is that there's a flower fairy and a snow fairy and yada yada. So I created this so that she could have any kind of fairy she wants. So I do the fairy on one side and then I have the fairy blowing or creating whatever element it is. So here, this is gonna be our flower fairy. So I'm just using my double dipped flower petal technique, which you can see in more detail in some of my other videos if you don't know how to do this, and creating a more concentrated design on the top of my eye where the fairy is not, and then having the petals draw down to the fairy's 
hand where she is blowing the petals up and creating the flowers. So you can make this as elaborate as you want or as simple as you want, which is one of the nice things about this. Um, you can change it up so many different ways. So I'm just going to layer these up until I feel like I like them. And I'm going to show you a few different versions of fairies that I do as well. So I'm just adding some starbursts and dots on both sides of my design by my fairy and by my flowers. Of course, you can add glitter to this side as well if you'd like. And there is my flower fairy, all finished and ready to go. I'm going to show you a couple other versions that you can do. This is the rainbow fairy, super easy and quick for festivals, just instead of doing the flowers, which is probably takes the longest of all of the ones I do, just sweep a rainbow across the face, any kind you want. I like to make little wind marks coming from the fairy's hand, some teardrops and some starbursts. Um, kind of makes it look more like the fairy is blowing and creating this rainbow and you have got a really simple rainbow fairy. And last but not least is my chunky glitter fairy which can be a glitter fairy or just a fairy because fairies are glittery, right? So just some petroleum jelly and I grabbed my favorite chunky glitter and I'm going to put that all over around my eye. Now make sure to keep your eyes closed when you do this or have kids close your eye. You can see it just fell in my eye, which thank goodness I had my eye closed. Even though this is cosmetic glitter, you still wanna have kids keep their eyes closed. So add some Starburst and some teardrops and you've got a really cool glitter fairy. So here's another idea on how to do the dress of your fairy. I've taken an angled brush and a blue split cake. I've drawn on the arms and the face and I'm just pulling petals down and pulling back up to create a really pretty petal dress. And I like doing them this way. It's a little bit more time consuming and you do have to think about how much room you have on a child's face. So if it's a small child and you don't have a lot of room to work with, I would probably go with the first method. Not only will it save you some time, but it's a little easier also. So on this fairy, um, like the last, I'm adding hair, this time blonde, and wings and sparkles and doing some outlining as well. And I'm just going to add some highlights on this fairy and she's done. And I do really like the dress like this. I think it's really pretty and lovely. However, do think about the space you have and the time you have. Um, so whether you use a petal brush or you use an angled brush and use a one stroke, I think this technique is really good for creating a quick fairy. And then of course decide what kind of fairy you want your fairy to be. I chose for um, this one to be the flower fairy as well because it's probably my favorite fairy to do. The girls really like it and I like doing the flower technique especially at events because it's quite quick. So that's how this fairy turned out and I will leave you guys with pictures of the other fairies I did. And I hope this video gave you guys some good ideas and you can come up with some fun designs on your own. So here's my flower fairy, my rainbow fairy, and my glitter fairy. Thanks for watching. Please share with me if you come up with other ways to use this design. Thanks for watching.